Over the next few minutes, we will discuss some of the 1099 changes for the year 2020 and show you how to implement these in your Sage 300 software. These changes can be implemented in Sage 300 2021, Product Update 1 or newer. They are also included in Sage 300 2020, Product Update 4, and in Sage 300 2019, Product Update 7. For tax year 2020, Non-employee compensation is now reported in box 1 on a new 1099 NEC form instead of box 7 on the 1099 MISC form where it was reported previously. The new 1099 NEC form can be printed on the AP Print 1099-1096 forms screen. Moreover, 1099 or CPRS box numbers may change from year to year, which is what happened with several boxes in tax year 2020. As a result, 1099 or CPRS codes in Sage 300 no longer correspond to specific box numbers on forms. Instead of using the code as an indication of the box number where amounts should be reported, for each code, you now specify a type of payment or other amount to be reported on 1099 or CPRS forms. When you print a form for a specific tax year, amounts are automatically printed in the correct boxes for that year. To continue using your existing 1099 or CPRS codes, you will need to update each of them by specifying a tax reporting type, 1099 or CPRS, and an amount type. First, let's see how codes can be configured or updated in Sage 300. In Accounts Payable, select AP Setup and open 1099 CPRS codes. We'll start by updating an existing code. We select our code 7, which is used for non-employee compensation. To use this code, we must select a tax reporting type and an amount type. Under tax reporting type, select either 1099 or CPRS as appropriate. For non-employee compensation, we select 1099. If you select 1099, select an amount type, which will determine the box used on the form. In this case, we select non-employee compensation. Repeat these steps to update or create all the 1099 or CPRS codes you need. Note that instead of updating existing codes, you could optionally consider creating new codes with meaningful names for your next reporting cycle. For example, we could create a new NEC code for non-employee compensation, which could be used instead of the existing one. Now that we've configured the codes, let's see how 1099 forms can be printed. In this example, we will print a new 1099 NEC form. In Accounts Payable, select AP Vendor Reports and click Print 1099-1096 Forms. Start by selecting the form, either 1099 or 1096. Here, we choose 1099. A form type field allows you to either print a 1099 MISC form or a 1099 NEC form. For non-employee compensation, we select 1099 NEC. Select or confirm the tax year, in our case 2020, and notice the form used. Select the vendor or vendors to include. Confirm the payer information, including a tax number. When you're ready, Simply click the Print button. These changes will also be reflected on 1096 forms, as well as 1099 electronic filings under AP Periodic Processing. Congratulations! You now know what changes have been made to 1099 reporting for 2020 and how to implement these changes in Sage 300.